What do you say, YouTube? <laughs> Luca Vanetti with Sutliff Burley. My goodness. We've had some storms here. Tornado touched down at my work last night at the Pittsburgh International Airport near the uh, Hyatt Hotel. Believe it or not, it just took some shrubs around the hotel out and it went on its way. And uh, the poor Midwest, wow, wow. Tennessee and some different states had their share of some uh, treacherous tornadoes. Thoughts and prayers with those folks. My goodness, 60 degrees, it was 83 yesterday, sunny, now it's cloudy, windy, 60. So I uh, wanted to mention to you, to talk to you about lady pipe smokers. I absolutely think it's great. We have a few here on YouTube that present and smoke pipes. And I know quite a few of them, uh, lady pipers, not the ones I, not the YouTube presenters, but other ones that I have met at the North American Society of Pipe Collectors show in Columbus. Silver Gray is a pipe artisan from out west and uh, she's a gem. Uh, Therese Carpenter, my friends, her husband is Terry and uh, she is a pipe smoker and they call themselves the Pipe Divas. There's about seven or eight of them at the Columbus Pipe Show that smoke their pipes on the patio and it's just a good time. I think it's really, really cool that these ladies smoke pipes. Did you know Greta Garbo, the famous actress, was a diehard pipe smoker? Oh yes, oh yes. Republican Senator Millicent Fenwick. Uh, she was a senator from 75 to 83. She was a pipe smoker. I just find that really cool that they smoke pipes and promote the hobby. A lot of folks don't know that. Uh, was texting with Justin, Bull Moose Piper. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. His link will be in the bucket. What a great guy. Anyway, he was unaware of uh, some of these famous lady pipe smokers. I just, I'm being repetitive now. I just think it is awesome. It's so cool. So, what do you think about lady pipe smokers? Yay or nay? Or, eh. At one time, female pipe smokers were very, very popular. Ireland, Wales, England, Scotland, the Caribbean or Caribbean, however you like to pronounce it. the early colonial America and throughout Appalachia and no offense to you Southern folks, but Appalachia runs all the way to Maine and we certainly have here in Pennsylvania and uh, up in Maine, some very, very mountain people. And they are very similar to the Appalachians 
in the southern states on their way of life. Uh, that could be a subject for a whole nother day. But then cigarettes came into the picture and many, many of these women started smoking cigarettes and gave up the pipe. The cigarette manufacturers used their advertising ploy to say that cigarettes were more feminine than pipes. Now you could do your research. I've done it. I don't want to bore you with a lot of research details, but you go online and look that all up if you so desire. But my point is, female pipe smokers was the norm. If you could go back in time to colonial America, uh, to the 1800s, 1700s, uh, well, colonial America would be the 1600s before the revolution. If you could go to these different time periods to the United Kingdom, to Ireland, to the Caribbean, whatever else I said, you would see female pipe smokers. Clay pipes, of course. Clay pipes, of course, during that time frame. Corn cob pipes, when those came out, and briar pipes, when those came out. Now, I also would like to know, another subject, how many pipes do you smoke a day? On work days, I average four pipes. I smoke one in the morning with coffee. I smoke one driving to work and in the work parking lot, finishing it up. I smoke one driving home, and I smoke one when I get home when I watch my beloved Perry Mason. Days off is a different story. I work four 10-hour shifts. I'm off Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I smoke 14 to 16 pipes a day. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. I know my good, good friend Brody Joe smokes more. He doesn't even count. I think at one time he did mention 20 or so. And there's a few others of you who smoke that many, but the names are escaping me. That's the lifestyle, pipe smoking. Now, I know some of you have mentioned you smoke one or two on the weekend. And that's it. Or one or two a day. Now, that is as shocking to me and Brody Joe as it is to you folks with our quantity. I just love it. I always have a pipe in my gob, and as you know, I take it everywhere I go. Is it smoking all the time when I'm out about? No, but I take it everywhere I go. Let me know in the comments, please, what you think of female pipe smokers, how many bowls you smoke. Appreciate that. Have a good day. As always, thank you for watching.